Okay, so I'm sure you guys were expecting Batman. I was expecting Batman too, and then I had some technical issues on my laptop. So I'm going back to uh, I apologize. Anybody that didn't want to see it, they're more than welcome to leave, and I will continue playing. So I can sort out my technical issues on that end. I should say uh, thank you to 101 Adam for uh, following uh, the stream while I was out. That was nice. So we last time we left, we were at Joseph's house. We needed to. Uh, we were just allowed to kind of look around the house. We have our lunch of little bites and a Nutrigrain bar. Both generic versions. Of course, and top it all off, generic soda. I already had a granola bar and a couple other things while I was driving back to the office, so. Anyways, shall we continue? I'm gonna examine the bookshelf first. It's a pretty sturdy wooden bookshelf. Looks handmade. Hey, Joseph, build this? That'd be pretty impressive. There's a big stack of what looks like travel magazines. Hyenas on the Serengeti. The underwater mysteries of the Antarctic. On and on and on. Seems like this Joseph really loves a good adventure. This is a merry thing. Who knows? So next to them are a couple different Bibles. It looks like he's covering all the Bible bases. King James, New American Standard, the Bible for teens. He is a cool youth minister after all. On a higher shelf, there are a bunch of old romance novels, judging by the wine stains. It must be Mary's. The newest one looks like Hot Body Johnson's Sex Detective. Okay. Sure. The eighth installment in... Wait, th this is a series? Okay, we'll examine the coffee table. A couple cool knickknacks on the coffee table in front of me. Hey, a cross. Hey, another cross. This one looks a little different. And a third cross. Unified design aesthetic. Smart choices. There's also a brass thing here. It looks like something a sailor would use to navigate. I think they're called sextants. He is correct. <laughs> Sex. Examine the floor. Well, you have this many kids and things are bound to end up on the floor, no matter how hard you try to keep it clean. I spot a, f a terrifying cloth doll that appears to have had both arms pulled off several times. It's been stitched back together. Oh, it's the twins. It's the twins. The twins are killing. <clears throat> the tag says CNC. Of course. I set that down and spot a houseplant. Hey, little guy. Keep being you, tiny houseplant. Spot one last thing on the floor next to the house. It's a silver necklace. Wow. This looks expensive for something casually tossed on the floor. If there's a story here. It's none of my business. It's been a while. I guess I should go in the kitchen and see what's up. Yeah. Walk into the kitchen to find Joseph holding a Christy in one arm. Or holding Christy in one arm. She seems a lot calmer than she was a minute ago. I raise an eyebrow at hmm. Joseph. The twins are a lot more manageable separated. Where's Christian? Mm -hmm. He ran off. Christy dips a spoon in the brownie batter and gives it a taste. Dad, it's too sweet. Mm -hmm. You're too sweet. No, I'm not. <laughs> You're so sweet we might have to water you down with spiders. No, not spiders. Joseph begins tickling Christy with his free hand. Between the laughing and the squirming, I don't know how he's got a hold of her. That girl is locked in place. This man is a professional child wrangler. Context. Christy fixes me with her best puppy dog eyes. Oh. Save me from the spiders. 
spoon duel of the Spider King. I grab a wooden spoon and point it in Joseph's direction. Unhand her, foul beast. Mm. Okay, Jabroni the Valiant, let's see what you got. You may have defeated me at Tarantula Ridge, but now I have the upper hand. Tarantula Ridge, okay. Joseph gently puts Christy down behind him. Have you come to squash me, knight, or have you merely fallen into my web? No, I'm no mere fly, Spider King, now in guard. For a minute or so, Joseph and I mocked the two dumbest looking. Hey, sorry about my slight technical issues. Hey, coconuts, what's up? I'm glad you could stop by. I'll have to make sure I add you. Uh, if you haven't added it, coconuts, make sure to uh, hit that follow button. That's always nice. And Frankie the Tank, hello. Sorry about my technical issues earlier. I kind of stunk up the joint and. Uh... Oh, cracker bones. <laughs> Last I am defeated. I tried to play Batman valiantly on my laptop while I was streaming. That didn't work out so well. Let's just say. It's a good laptop. And it can play Batman. Haha. <laughs> But oh. trying to stream and capture on this laptop at the same time was just a tad bit too much for it. And it kind of crapped a bit. So, that's right. You went to the dentist. Eight fillings. How you doing? Magic. Oh man, that is way too Ooh. sweet. Chris begins jumping up and down excitedly. My hero. Chrissy hugs my leg before making a surprisingly fast exit. Oh. Hey, wait. Do you want to bake brownies with us? Chrissy hesitates and shakes her head no again. She's probably looking for her crazy uh, cousin or brother, the twin. There you go. Yeah, like I said, I got those. I got those eleven fillings done in that hour at the dentist and went back to work. That was the worst mistake I could have made. I wish I would have taken the afternoon yeah. off. But I needed the cash, so there I was, at work. Sparkle Pony. Joseph looks confused. Oh. You don't want to bake with your dad now? You want to play with Sparkle Pony? Yes. Yeah. Okay, go. She jets out real fast. Hey, you know, like I said, it gets the best of us. But yeah, dental work kind of makes it hard to stream if you're going to be sitting there like... Hur, 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 hur. It was great having phone conversations at work after that. I'm surprised they didn't send me home, but you know, it's what happens. Joseph sighs deeply as he stares into the chocolate battery, tastes it again, face twisting. And that is still way too sweet. So what made that crash? Egg beaters on the linoleum floor. It's my new techno signal. Still haven't thought of a B-side. <laughs> well, that's good. And how is your day going, uh, eat coconuts? Hopefully well. We know Frankie the Tank's on the, on the mend. Hey, look at you. Hitting that big button. That means next time I stream, my recent follow will update, and you'll be the top up there on my banner for a little while. Hopefully you like my ghetto banner. I made it in all of seven minutes one night. I think it looks fantastic. Oh. Obviously, you can hear my sarcasm all the way through this stream, all the way through chat. <clears throat> But hey, so I apologize. Like I said, eh, you know, I was just trying to go with something a little minimal. Eh, you know, I don't like it when it's too much. Some people, it gets a little busy, a little, hey, it's what I could do in Photoshop in like seven minutes. So, hey, there's that. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm not really a baker, but yes, don't even sweat it. The bag came with instructions that have mysteriously vanished along with my daughter. 
Uh, you know, everybody has their own thing. I still come by. I like the clouds and the, the, the space theme to the side. Everybody's gotta have their thing. I know Slyterica, he's got his spaceship thing going on. I just didn't want too much text in the middle. Yes. You know, I go to some streams and it's just like there's text bouncing all over the screen and all that stuff and it's like, ah. It's just not me. Yeah, probably. Certainly looks confident. All right, Jabroni, you've baked a cake from a box before once. How hard could this be? Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's... Uh, you know what? Like I said, Slyterica, I give him credit for the dedication he puts to that stream. I would not have that kind of dedication. I'm not going to wear a balaclava over my head that looks like a squid for hours and hours. But hey, people tune in, people like it. I suppose if you have a shtick, sometimes it's going to get people in and they're going to watch. And then you have me with my third third grade uh, uh, Photoshop knowledge and this is what I came up with. So hey, there it is. I have a friend though, I'm going to kind of show him what I have here and see if he can make it a little fancy. At least with some more gradient shaders and stuff like that. So hey. Uh, now grab a spoon and get ready to rock. Mario, this is where it's funny. This guy is, a, your character in the game is a Mario Batali fan. This game must have come out at the worst time. You know, now with all the stuff that came out with Molly Batali and his sexual harassment stuff. They keep coming back to him and keep mentioning him. And every time it comes up, it's like, Eeeh. it makes me cringe. Joseph and I set to work cracking the eggs and mixing the things and then pouring the things according to how we assume the back of the box would tell us to. But like I said, uh, so I apologize. Like I said, if anybody comes in and they were expecting Batman, I tried to get some tweets out there last minute to say, hey, that's not happening. Hopefully they don't get too mad. But yeah. if you don't like it, you can always leave. I'm not going to be offended. But I'm glad you're staying around, Frank. We'll get a few more people in here to chat. We've had, yesterday, my lunch was kind of busy. I had a few people come in. The biggest problem is these streams, my lunch streams are normally only about 40 minutes long. So it takes, by the time the word gets out, I'm already done. <clears throat> but uh, Joseph has a little dot of batter on his nose. Wow, uh, Jabroni, way to use those dad skills. I bet you baked a few box mixes in your time. I will say this, I did like watching you play the Xbox version of uh, the uh, uh, of uh, PUBG. I gotta get back into it, but I don't notice as much of the texture stuff that you have or the, the sluggishness and the controls, but I'm, I have an Xbox One X at home. I was one of the dummies that spent $500 on lunch day, on uh, launch day. But you know, it is what it is. But I can understand if you don't want to spend that, and if you're, you know, your Xbox One S is perfectly competent, and the only reason I went with it is I had a new 4K TV, so I was like, I should do this. I need to get a PS4 Pro at some point. Yep, I'm going to be that idiot as well. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, Joseph, hold still. What? Thumb in position, and got it. Joseph eyes go wide as I gently wipe the chocolate off his nose. Mm. Is he blushing? Oh, uh, thanks. So, just in case you don't know, Joseph here is married. Uh, and I'm going to, I'm just realizing something here. Give me a second. I'm just going to slide this a little more this way. So you guys can see more of that. I'm not expecting to get hundreds of people in here, so I don't think I need to have it that far away from the digits. But hey, anyways, back to it. No problem. In less than a second, I've licked the batter off my finger. It's really good batter. We, uh, we should find Christy. Now, so he's married, but... 
Yes, yes, we should do that. Jabroni. Joseph quickly composes himself. <laughs> All right, she can't be far. You take the delta position and I'll watch your six. Do you even know what that means? Nice. Alpha Tango Sparkle. Roger, roger. That is so not right. Joseph start makes, starts making his way down the hall and calls back to me. Take the brownies and the rest of the stuff I baked earlier today while I get Chris. We'll meet you out by the car. Yeah. Christy, Joseph, Christy, and I arrive at the church parking lot to find fold-out tables. Pop-up tents already set up. Looks like the bake sale is already in full swing. Oh. Wow, this place is packed. Is this packed? There are a few people milling around. Must be a value pack. If you can count a city's population on your fingers and toes, this counts as packed. Point. Christy rockets out of the car and into the lot. Is she running on jet fuel? Sorry. It is lunch with me, so... I want to sell brownies. Hmm. Okay, okay, let's get set up. The joy of watching me eat. I want to see mom. Yeah. She's down by another row of tables helping out with another group. Want to go over there and tell her I said hi? There you go, coconuts. You're now in lights. But you left. I know, Dream Daddy's not for everybody. She's down by the other row of tables helping out with another group. Want to go over there and tell her I said hi? Mom. Christy zips off immediately. Joseph seems unconcerned. Does she always run that fast? Yes. And I can only catch her half the time. The knees aren't what they used to be. So, I do want to apologize to everybody, including you, Frankie the Tank, but I, I think you weren't streaming today, it sounds like. But, uh, I hadn't had a chance to, um, oh, excuse me. I hadn't had a chance to, uh, watch any streams today, because I came in this morning and had to leave for a work function, like, about 40 minutes after I got into work, so. And I had to take my laptop with me, so. It was packed up in my bag in the car, so. Hey. I know I could watch on my phone, but I just didn't have a chance, didn't get it out, you know, didn't have headphones, so. I didn't get to watch the people I normally try to watch. I normally try to be supportive during the day oh. and get people in to watch my streams, but, or getting in to watch their streams. I figure it's, you know, one hand wash the other. I don't want people to come in and watch my streams, but I know, you know, we need, we need to watch each other's back. Yeah, exactly. Well, I need a paycheck in order to do all this. So I'm not one of those people that can sit at home and stream all day and live off of those earnings. You can see the tips up there. I'm not gonna live off of seven bucks. Yeah, yeah. So I try to keep stuff in the background and, you know, kind of during the day, it's, it's pretty easy when I'm at my desk. I can just have stuff running in the background and I can just kind of, I don't have to worry about it too much. And uh, occasionally I'll kind of jump in, talk a little bit, but I always keep it on. I make sure it's not muted. That's always the key. Because apparently if you mute a stream, it doesn't count as a viewer. I, I don't know if that's true or not. That's what people have told me. So, I kind of believe the hype and I just say, hey, I got you. Well, hey, if you can make a little cash while you're looking for a job, there you go. You know, for me, I'm more the, I'm more the breadwinner for the family. So, I do this primarily because I play video games anyways. 
Look, there's only, it's like the top 1% of 1% that are going to, you know, help people make the money. All right, Sabas 831, I see you lurking there in the background. I appreciate it. Uh, you know, I try to, uh, you know, I figured the way I look at it is, I play lots of video games anyways. I buy a lot of video games that I don't finish a lot of times. I think that's some, a problem that most of us have, more than likely. That we have bought many games that we haven't played necessarily. Uh, for me, I go ahead and uh, I figure if streaming helps me finish those games. I have finished probably more games in 2017 than I had in probably the last couple of years. Uh, barring the ones that I had done reviews for in the past. Uh, you know, because those you kind of have to finish. Um... Hmm. But I will say that uh, streaming has made my recreational gaming a little better. Uh, it lets me dive into games that I don't play. Oh. Um, but there's times like last night I didn't stream because I was just dead tired. I'm not gonna lose sleep. Over. Now, does that say, does that mean that I don't care that I that I don't want to? It's like yeah, I'd love to make affiliate, but it's not like I'm going to, you know lose sleep over it if I don't. I'm more appreciative if I have people come in and, and watch and check out the stream and... Hmm. Oh, just hearts. No eggplants. High five. If you bake it, they will come. Right. But hey, you know, I like, I enjoy your streams, Frankie. They're good. You seem to have fun. You interact with the people that are viewing. I think that's the big thing. I just don't like it when people don't interact. Like, if I go into a stream and you're chatting, and then sometimes it's hard if they're in a first-person shooter. I'm the same way. If I'm in a shooter game and I'm in a shootout, I kind of zone out of the chat. And I have people, like, sometimes that come in and I'll be like, hey, like, friends of mine that'll finally be like, they'll, I've actually gotten texts from people that are watching me stream and they'll be like, you need to pay attention to the chat. And it's like, oh, yeah, I do. Matt, Carmenis, Carmenis, Carmencita. Hi, oh, man, that's a tough one. Great to see you guys out yeah, here. Yeah. Happy to support a good cause. Plus, as you know, as the owner and proprietor of the Coffee Spoon, an establishment that specializes in baked goods, I have to scope out the competition. Exactly. I am the same way. I, You know, if you go back and look at all my streams that are still on Twitch, or if you go and check out the archives on YouTube... Uh, go and watch how often my my layouts have changed. I have constantly kind of been like, nope, don't like that. Nope, don't like that. Uh, you know, just all of it is kind of... Uh, um, so... I, you know, it's I'm still kind of just, you know process of, uh, let me see how this works, and let me see how this works, and let me see how this works, and kind of so on and so on. And kind of, like, I mean, even right now, it's like, here I am, and it's like, no, I still don't like where that camera's at. I'm going to put it right there. And it's like, you know, I just, I can't get totally, like, eh, no, I, I kind of like this. Just let the baking spirit move through me, you know? A little bit of flour here, a pinch of salt there. It's sort of like interpretive dance, but cooking. <laughs> interpretive cooking, yes. You can never make the same thing twice. Every batch is special. There will never be another batch of brownies with the exact flavor sensation that these have right here. Oh. Exactly. I think you need to do that. There is a point where you also have to say, a little too much and then you you know people are like hey you know we're just want to come in consistently see i mean for me the biggest thing is is you know making sure the streams actually work like today you know if i'd have been smart i'd have loaded up batman last night and i would have tested it to see how it performed but because i was busy and tired i didn't and then that made my stream this morning or this afternoon at the box when i started hey uh... But that's okay. You know, these things happen and we just move on and, and you know, we kind of work through it and there you go. Anyways, actually, we'll take three. 
I ring them up and high five Joseph as our happy customers walk away. Yeah, you know, and I, I that's I've been there. Like like I said, today you saw it today. It's like I jumped in. Nope, nope. This isn't gonna work. That is moving three frames a second. People are not going to want to watch that. And you just kind of walk away from it and say, well, sorry guys. What I thought we were going to play, we're not playing. I just put out some notes on Twitter and everything and said, hey, sorry about this, guys. But it's just not going to happen that way. And not that I think Dream Daddy's a bad game. I just was trying to give some people a taste of something different. So, but the idea is, one. I think once I get through and I, I find, like I said, I think I'm going to settle on Damien Blood March on the next... Uh, what they, the, the third date, that's when you commit to the dad, and I think that's when the story will start to wind up. And then I can go into something else. Like, I had thought about streaming, um, oh, what is it, uh, uh, Danganronpa. Uh, you know, the story novel. <laughs> where you ha you're a detective, have to find clues, all that good stuff. You sure can. I bet we could eat ten. I could eat ten brownies. Must resist urge to be competitive. But hey, in the end, you know we get it right at some point. We'll put you down for ten. Better make it just two. One for me and one for Daisy. Huh? Oh. Back down from that, didn't you? But uh. Well, you know, it's just basically... Uh, the reason I like this game... Well, that one is basically... It's a JRPG. It's based... Well, I don't know if the anime is based on the game or the game is based on the anime. Yeah. But it's... Uh, there's an evil bear in it. Uh, Monokuma. And he kidnaps these students and locks them in a school. And... The idea is that you have to be the last student standing in order to get out. Yeah. And along the way, kids start murdering other kids, and you're trying, if, if you can solve who solved the murder, then the murderer is killed, but if you fail in solving the murder, everybody else is killed and the murderer gets to go free. They have actually made three of those games. Danganronpa, Trigger Happy Panic, Danganronpa 2, I forget the subtitle, and Danganronpa V3, which is the third one that just came out middle of last year? <clears throat> so I, I just think they're interesting because they tell some kind of cool stories and you man there are some puzzles in those games that really can stump but I might play the first one here on PC because I finished it on Vita so I kind of know some of the gimmick and some of the, the puzzles so it won't be as long it took me almost 30 hours to beat it on Vita <laughs> clearly the superior part of the brownie topography thanks Joseph our two customers walk off with their purchases. Joseph and I survey our right. stock. These are selling pretty hot. At this rate, we'll have enough money to pay for a new paint job on the church pews in no time. Well, I appreciate that, Frankie the Tang. I always appreciate when people just come by and at least check it out. And uh, hopefully I can just entertain you a bit while I'm in the middle of my drudge at work. You know, I get to take a couple, you know, to get to take an hour off of work. Well, actually, the stream's only about 45 minutes. Because it's probably going to end in about 10 minutes. Uh, you know, but if I can entertain people and they can have fun and they enjoy watching, then that's all I can, uh, I can, uh, hope for. Being a cool youth minister seems like a lot huh? of work. It is, but it's worth it. <laughs> Although, sometimes I wish... Never mind. Yeah, because this guy has, like, a terrible marriage. Like, his wife is, like, a drunk lush and tries to hit on everybody. Like, she hit on us at the bar one night. She's just like, hey, sailor, you want to... I was like, whoa. Mm -hmm. And then, like, the next day we're at a barbecue and she walks up, this is my wife. And I was like, oh! Maybe I should have just done Borat and been like, my wife. Don't you ever wish you could just drop everything and go lounge around somewhere in the tropics? Drink fruity blended beverages, fall asleep on a hammock, you know, basically live out a Jimmy Buffett song? Uh, yeah. It's called, I Need Money. 
Joseph, I think about this every single day of my life, except I still have no idea. That's okay. No worries. I still have no idea what our job is in this game. I have no idea. We have never once seen him go to work, discuss work, discuss how he makes money, discuss how he pays for his house, anything. Mm -hmm. One day, my friend, we will be on an island. We will, one day, we'll be on island. Huh? Make a couple more sales to some church patrons. Everything seems to be going smoothly. Off in the distance, I spot my old buddy Craig. Mm. Keg Stan Craig. Mm. He's going to be a hard sell. Craig's a fitness man. I think he comes to these bake sales and tests himself. See if he has the resolve to fuse processed sugar. Mm. Enjoy your lurk, Frankie. Are you sure you're ready for this? We go way back. I got this. <laughs> Craig jogs up to our table with Briar and Hazel and Toad. They're each finishing an ice cream cone, so it's unlikely we're going to sell them on brownies, too. Probably won't be able to sell to the baby. She's impossible to read. It all comes down to Craig. Oh. Hey, bros. Hi, Uncle Joseph. Hi, Amanda's dad. Would you be interested in one of our delicious homemade brownies? Mmm, -hmm. mm, don't know. Hey, Craig, when we were freshmen, remember how our next-door neighbors pranked us by switching our laundry detergent with dish soap and how we washing machine exploded with suds? And then we decided to get back at them by breaking brownies for them, but sprinkling high-intensity hot sauce into the mix, and then we watched them cry after eating it? <laughs> I feel bad, but we had to clean up the laundry room ourselves. Anyway, these brownies are like that, but without the hot sauce. Maybe you should get one more for old time's sake. Oh. Craig thinks for a second. Well, girls just want a game. You know what? We'll take one for each of us. Even River? Hmm. I'll eat hers. Oh, there's the eggplants. Uh, you got yourself a deal. Day winds down. We're pretty much out of items to sell. Everyone starts packing up. Christy eventually comes back into me and falls asleep in Joseph's folding chair. Boxed mix, huh? Come on. Mary saunters up to us. She looks like she'd rather be anywhere else than here. Oh. Oh, hi, honey. Yep, they're selling like hotcakes, which is actually they're which is actually they're just brownies. Cute <sighs> and boring and safe. Um, hey, Mary. Mary's eyes dart over to me. <gasps> What's the rookie doing here? <sighs> I was just hoping to introduce Jabroni to the rest of the community. Mm. Uh-huh. You get a load of this freak show? What? Uh? Weird folk is all holier-than-thou types. Mm. Don't you think, Jabroni? Oh. Mary, I... Uh. Let the kid answer the question. Uh... Uh, they, they, they all seem like they're really excited to help out the church. That's pretty cool, I guess. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Mary, can we talk about this uh. later? Oh, am I embarrassing you in front of your new friend? Joseph doesn't respond, trying his hardest to keep his cool. Hmm. Can we please talk about this <laughs> later? Sure thing, honey bear. Hmm. Mary turns her attention to me. Hand over the catch. Uh, hey. Jesus, I'm not trying to rob you. Just, I'm in charge of the funds here. I hand over the cash we made. Feels like a hefty wad, if I may say so myself. Mm. Thanks. Huh? Now give me your wallet. What? Hey. Give me your wallet. You think this church is going to fix mm. itself? Man. Hey. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Sorry. Work on the whole pretending to be happy thing. Mary leans in and whispers uh? to me. He's really good at it. Mary walks out without saying goodbye. Yeesh. All right. Well, I am going to have to go ahead and call this stream. So I want to thank everybody that joined in. Uh, Sabbath 831, Frankie the Tank. Thanks for lurking in the background after our talk. Sabbath 831, same thing to you. I also want to say thanks to Eat Coconuts for following the channel. 
and for getting me to say the words eat coconuts. It's funny. Uh, anyways, uh, I should be back on tonight. I will actually make sure to play Batman back ten or tonight. Make up for not being able to play it at lunch today. But hey, shit happens. Uh, until next time, though, I want to say thanks to both of you, Frankie the Tank, Sabas, and Eat Coconuts for jumping in, chatting, and spending a little bit of your time with me. I will be back, like I said, tonight. Uh, and like I said, I will definitely have Batman on. It'll be a little break from Night in the Woods. I hope that uh, is all right with everybody. And to uh, say I'm sorry... I'll give you a little bit of uh, the Dream Daddy theme song to play me out, just like the Oscars. Alright guys, I'll be back on later tonight. Bye.